Paris Saint-Germain to have the lead in a tight old game. Half time, 1 0. Paris Saint-Germain going well here, and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit, but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Hops it towards the front. Story. Bonucci cuts it out. Dufo gets it upfield. <laughs> Juventus in it back again. Bonucci tries to get it forward quickly. Hesse. Cavani. Can he find a finish now? Great header, made it look easy. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Paris Saint Germain themselves a two goal cushion. Well, at 1 0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way, and that losing feeling the other. Must have been offside. Touch and go. No, Aren't no, they no, supposed no. to get the benefit? <laughs> and he showed him a clean no, pair of heels. No, no, no. Just sails no, past no, the no. upright. <laughs> oh, it was almost a beautifully placed no, shot. No, no. So unlucky not to see that go in. That's not the ball he wanted. And it's Iguain. Tries a through ball. It's a brilliant interception. It's gone a long way up and away. Urie. Named long and direct. They are rampant, and the lead is three. It is surely done. Vision wonderful, the technique perfect. <laughs> well, the goalkeeper would have helped to make his mind up on how he was going to finish it. The second of the game, and an eye now for the hat trick. Paris Saint Germain take a three goal lead, and they are rumping out of sight. Now it's Petrada. He's off on a marauding run. He had so well to exploit the space down the middle there. That gave him a clean run to the opposition goal. A story to get on the end of this. And it's Cavani. Bonucci. Yeah, into the right Allah, position to that's intercept. That's that's now it's Di Maria. Bazali is long and forward. Dybala looking to penetrate oh, opposition that's lines. That's he has got good distance on that. Mm. 
Astore. Di Maria. Timely intervention. And the ball is out of play. Kadira. That's Kadira. Goes wide. Ah, Surah. Surah la. Surah shoot la. Kadira. Very necessary. But ah. Di Maria. Jukic. Steered out wide. Ah. Now the cross. Good. La Allah, what are you doing? Di Maria shoot. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? Pumps it upfield. Di Maria looks to slip it through. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Well, he simply failed to just put a little more oomph behind that. A oh, great ball! Looking to force his way through! Well, that's an illustration of how good they are on the break. I mean, all the pace and power needed to go at it with, with real vigor that day. The referee has brought play back and showed him a yellow card. <laughs> Di Maria. Kedira. Takes the winner back. Jukic passes it through. Marquisio with the ball through. Ah, ini kali lah. Nah, ini lah. Not the cross he had in mind. Oh, pasang kipu. Kipu baru. Confirmation that there will be four minutes stoppage time. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Tries a through ball. Paris Saint-Germain chose to bring the last of their substitutes. Well, his stamina was called into question. There was absolutely nothing wrong with his heart. He was very well in the fight table. Why did he want to go minutes so much? Di Maria. The final whistle. Paris Saint Germain enjoy their perfect day for their victims. It is entirely imperfect. Comprehensive winners of a one-sided contest. You look back on the game, then, Jim.